Hello and welcome to the 21st tutorial in the Cocos 2D JF version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at fading a node using the fade to action. We'll be using the source code from the 7th part of this series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description for it. Cocos 2D JF provides us with loads of useful functionality to manipulate nodes. Most things in Cocos 2D JS are nodes such as sprites and menu items. We will look at, look, look at fading a node using the fade to method, which fades it relative to its original opacity, which is full, so applying the same type of fade to action over and over again won't have any effect. Let's open our app.js, which contains our current layer. We already have a sprite on it, so we just need to create a sprite action. So, var sprite underscore action equals to cc dot fade to dot create and now we specify two parameters one is how long we want the action to take in seconds so I'm going to put two seconds and now the opacity that we want it to go to again the opacity is full when you create a sprite or create a node aka 255 it ranges from 0 to 255 so there's 256 intervals but because it starts at 0, it ends at 255, so I'm going to put 110, which is just a little bit below half its opacity. So I'm going to put run action, sprite action, save this, and now if we just minimize this, open up our browser, actually, we open up our browser, I need to do terminal, cd, drum drop out directory on here, Open up our browser. Oop, did not want to open that up. We need to open up the terminal. Now we need to run the products so at Cocos run p web. As you can see, it has faded the sprite now to 110 opacity. So if we just go back to our text data, what we're going to do is repeat the action to show you the effect it has as the fade to action fades the node relative to its original opacity, hence it won't actually have any effect, but we want to just iterate this. So var repeat underscore action equals cc dot repeat dot create and now we specify the action we want to repeat, so sprite action, and now we specify well how many times we want to repeat it on for free. Now I'm gonna do repeat action Go back to my web browser, refresh the page. As you can see, it's gone to 110 opacity. It's doing other stuff, as in the other actions are running, but because it's relative to its original opacity, visually nothing is changing. Little thing to note you can't reuse actions for different nodes. You either need to create a new one or release the old one and construct it again recommended you just create a new action for the different nodes that you have. The next tutorial will cover fading using the fading method which fades a node to full opacity. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. Email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube or the required links or source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.